Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I'm going to show you how to do a quick and easy ham recipe for the holidays. Now this one, I picked up a spiral cut ham at the grocery store and I'm going to get it on some smoke. It's been fully cooked, so what we're doing is warming it up in a smoked environment. We call it double smoking. Then at the very end, I'm going to glaze it with a sweet sauce and your guests are going to be so impressed with this, they're going to think you're a barbecue genius. Let's get to cooking. So I picked up this spiral cut ham from Walmart. It was 10 pounds and it comes cryovacked up. You want to get all that package off of it. And that's really all we have to do. Sometimes there's a bone protector on the bottom side. You just take that off, but I'm going to set it over on one of my little chicken racks and we're going to put that right back on the pan. And that's all there is to getting this ham on the pit. We're not doing anything to the outside of it. We're not seasoning it. We're just going to warm it up in some good cherry smoke. Now I'm firing up my gateway drum for this cook. I'm starting with some Royal Oak charcoal briquettes. Going to drop in a couple tumbleweeds and get those fired up, get those coals good and hot. And once the coals are ready, I'm just going to check the vent back to where it'll run 275 degrees. We're going to throw in just two chunks of cherry wood and you want to use a mild flavored wood here because the ham's already been smoked once but what we're doing is double smoking it. Put the cooking grate in place, close the lid and just let that pit come up to 275. And that's where we're at now. I've got the pit ready. This ham's ready to go on. I'm just going to set the ham center rack. You can smell that good cherry wood rolling. We don't want it too thick. So we're just going to keep the lid closed on the gateway and let it hang out in this good cherry smoke. Now remember, we're not really cooking this ham. It's fully cooked. We're just bringing that internal temp up to 140 in a good smoked environment. It's going to take about two, two and a half hours. Then we're going to glaze it for about 30 minutes. I'll show you what I'm going to put on it just here in a few minutes. All right, our ham's been rolling for about an hour and a half. I just want to take a quick peek at it. It's looking good. You can still see we've got some moisture coming out. We've got some good color going on it. About 30 more minutes, it's going to be time to glaze it. So I'm just going to get the lid back closed. I'm going to show you how we're going to put this raspberry chipotle glaze together that we're going to use on top of this ham. That's what's going to make it fantastic. So this glaze I'm making for the ham is just two simple ingredients. I've got some regular apple jelly from the grocery store, and then my friends over at Blues Hog came out with this new sauce. It's called their Raspberry Chipotle Barbecue Sauce, and I'm gonna use it as a glaze. I'm starting with some apple jelly, and I'm putting about a cup in a little small saucepan over medium heat. After about five minutes, you can see that apple jelly pretty much liquefies. It melts down all the way. And that's how we're going to turn this sauce into a glaze. It's going to be excellent on ham. Now you could use just about any kind of sauce you want to make this glaze. But I think this raspberry chipotle is going to give it a nice flavor. It's going to be something a little different. And we're just going to bring this up to a slight simmer after we add the sauce. And then we're just going to hold it on warm for about 30 more minutes. And it's going all over the top of the ham. All right, our ham's been on for two hours. We still got a little bit of smoke rolling on it, but it is looking great. It's starting to get some color on the outside. It's kind of dried out a little bit. That's okay, because we're fixing to fix that. We're going to put some glaze on it. And you want to be quick when you're doing this on a drum. What I'm going to do, I've got some insulated gloves on underneath these. I'm going to set me a shallow pan down. And having the ham on this rack makes it really easy to pick up. I'm just going to drop it down in that while we glaze it. So we've got our warm raspberry chipotle glaze that we've melted down some apple jelly and combined with it. And I'm just going to use a basting brush, put it all over the outside of this ham. It's going to get sticky. It's going to be sweet. It's a little spicy, but it's going to give some really good flavor to the spiral double smoked ham. And that makes it look beautiful. We want this glaze to kind of tack up on the outside. It's warm, so it's a little thin, but you want it like that so it'll run down. Get in all the little cracks of the ham. Really make a great crust like on the outside. Just gonna close the lid on the drum. We're gonna let it hang out 275, about 30 more minutes. Be ready to get it off. It's that easy. Okay, the ham's been glazing for about a half hour, and that is what it's supposed to look like. I mean, all the glaze is set on the outside. You can see it's bubbling away down in the pan. I'm gonna get it off here, but look how beautiful that is. I mean, it's got that raspberry chipotle glaze. It's kind of sticky sweet on the outside. So I just let the ham hang out here on the cutting board. I set it off the rack. I'm gonna cut it apart, but first, I mean, just look how beautiful that thing is. I mean, that's a work of art and it was so easy to do. It was really three things. We bought a spiral ham, we got it in some more smoke, created that double smoked ham, and then we glazed it with a mixture of the apple jelly and the raspberry chipotle barbecue sauce. We put that on the outside after we heated it up and we just let it tack up. And all the hard work's done for you on this ham because it's spiral cut, it's already sectioned. All you have to do is take a sharp knife and follow the seams of the ham. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut some of it off for you 
so you can see what it looks like. I'm just following the seam, it goes right down like that. And we're creating these sections here. Just loosen it up from the bone and it's that easy. It'll fall right apart, perfect sections. It's juicy all the way through, beautiful ham. I'm gonna get a piece off right here. It's my favorite way to eat it. Spiral cut, double smoked with the glaze. Mm. That is fine. I mean, ham coming off a pit like that, so much better than what you get in the oven. You can't get that smoke flavor. And we got the sweetness on the outside from the raspberry and the apple. And then we got the heat from the chipotle and just a little bit of vinegar from the barbecue sauce that balances the whole thing out. And it's different from like a traditional holiday ham because it's been on the pit and it's got these flavors on it. That's what makes it so good. So Christmas coming up, don't spend your money on one of those honey baked hams. You can do this yourself. Go to the grocery store, Sam's or somewhere, get you a spiral ham. Put it in some smoke and then get that glaze on the outside of it the last 30 minutes. Let it kind of candy over the top. That's what's really going to make it special. Y'all, thanks for checking us out here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And Shell and I will talk about this ham recipe and all the other stuff we're doing on our podcast at the end of the week. Thanks for hanging out with us and Merry Christmas. Honey babe, what? Shell, this is going to make a heck of a ham sandwich. Oh my ham.